Hey there guys, welcome to the start of my AS Level Maths past paper exam questions on modelling with exponentials and logarithms. Now, in this booklet, there's about seven or eight questions because they come up a lot and really important to be able to do these. Now, because they also take a long time to do, I'm going to do each question in a separate video. Now, to make things easy for you, you can download the whole booklet from any of the following videos and on each separate question, I will put a QR code, which is the little black and white square, which you can scan with your phone to get to the solution to that question. All right, let's do this. Okay then, first up, Maxine measures Pressure P kilopascals and volume V liters in a fixed quantity of gas. She believes pressure and volume are connected by the equation uh, B equals C V to the D, where C and D are constants. Using four experimental results, Maxine plots a log ten of p against a log ten of v, as shown in the graph below. So there's our lovely graph. Part A wants us to find the values of p and v at the point marked A on the graph. Okay, so let's do p first. So at A, a log ten of P is equal to 2.18. So, a log ten of P is equal to 2.18. Now remember the number on the right is the power so this tells us P is 10 to the 2.18. Now with this sort of question, three significant figures is usually a good accuracy to use. So for that, we are going to get 150. One. So that's P. Now we need to find the log ten of V. So that is going along the bottom, and that is going to be minus zero point one five. So that tells us V is 10 to the minus 0.15 which to 3 sig figs gives us 0.708 and then part B wants us to calculate the values of C and D. Okay, so to do that, we're going to need to use the graph. And the original equation, P equals C, V to the D. Now at the moment, that is exponential, and the graph we have is logarithmic. So we need to convert P equals C V to the D into something to do with log ten of P and log ten of V. So that's our first job. So we know P is C V to the power D. Now if we take a log base 10 of both sides, we get log 10p
is equal to log tan c v to the t. Now, by the rules of logs, we can split that into log tan of c and log tan of v to the t. And then finally, we can again use the rules of logs to turn log of v to the d into d log v. So finally, the log tan of p is equal to, now I'm going to switch the order it's written in 2 to make it more relatable to a straight line, so we have d log tan of v and log base tan of c. Now, this is now relatable to y equals mx plus c. So, if you like, log tan p is our y, log tan v is our x. So that means that d is the gradient and log tan of c is the y-intercept. Okay, so let's find C first of all, because it's easier. So, what we need for that is the log tan P intercept. So, we are looking at this point here, which is 1.97. So, that tells us that the log tan of C is 1.97. So, C is 10 to the 1.97. Uh, which comes as 93.3. Okay, and then to find the gradient, we need the coordinates of two points on the line. So, I have gone for uh, the lowest point here, so minus 0 0.022, and then the highest point up here, which is minus 0 0.3, 2.4. So, gradient difference in y over difference in x. D then is 2.4 minus 2, which is 0 0.4. Over minus 0 0.3 minus minus 0 0.02 so that's minus 0 0.28 and to three sig fix there we get minus 1.43 Okay then, for the final part, we want to estimate the pressure of the gas when the volume is 2 litres. So we've done everything tricky, now we're just plunking in 
values. So we now know Prussia is 93.3 times the volume to the power minus 1.43. So all that we're doing is sticking V equals 2 into that. We're going to get pressure is, uh, so I get 34.6 and that's kilopascals. At a level, it's very important to put in the units of your answer. Alright, that was question one, done. On we go to question two. Hope to see you there.